So this is the COVID-19 spread prevention training in the workplace. What's uh, gonna be learned in this video is um, how to stop the spread of COVID-19 while you're at work and um, also in your personal life. So um, I'm gonna go over the importance of the spread prevention training, the ways to prevent contracting COVID-19 and general some general principles of learning. So um, the importance of COVID-19 spread prevention is to slow the spread of the virus, protect yourself and others, keep your family safe, avoid the virus, and continue a healthy lifestyle. So um, one of the first things to do is wear a mask. Um, an N95 or a respirator is the best choice in um, high risk and high transmission settings. Um, using a surgical mask that's well fitted, um, avoid a scarf or a ski mask, um, or mask with only one layer, mask with gaps on the sides. Um, and it's best to wear it over your, your mouth and your nose to um, get the, the full benefit of wearing the mask. Also, uh, social distancing. Um, staying six feet apart from each other and avoiding large gatherings. So just um, keeping your distance and uh, keeping gatherings to uh, as small as possible, you know. Um, and also thoroughly washing your hands um, with soap and water and using hand, san hand and sanitizer frequently, avoiding touching your face, keep your distance from people who are sick and just keep your hands and your surfaces clean. So, and stay home if you're feeling sick. If you're feeling sick, like you have a cold or a fever, um, it's best to stay home and, um, quarantine and, and, you know, get tested. That's the next one. Get tested for COVID-19 frequently. Um, whether you have symptoms or not, if you came in contact with someone who has symptoms, it's best to get tested and be sure um, that, you know, you're not carrying the virus. Um, and that also helps to slow the spread. Um, so a summary of ways to stop the spread is uh, you can get the COVID-19 vaccine, you can get tested, wash your hands often, cover your mouth and nose with a mask, avoid crowds and uh, social distance, um, stay six feet apart, and you can report fraudulent COVID-19 tests, vaccines, and treatments. So the general principles of learning, um, the adult learning theory um, is a theory that views adults in the workplace as active learners. Um, and people who learn by doing and who draw on considerable personal resources um, as a part of their efforts to master new skills. Adult learning emphasizes extensive experience, um, their preferences for active participation, interest in self-improvement and solving problems, and a desire to have some control o over your learning styles and methods. Um, motivation is uh, the drive and energy that compels people to act with energy and persistence towards their goals. So the motivation behind spread prevention is to not contract that virus and bring it to your, your loved ones. Um, the relevance, relevance is important because when people are unclear about what they're doing and why they're doing it, many will lose motivation and few will take advantage of whatever skills and knowledge are impacted. This is why um, what is learned must be specific and relevant. So a lot of, uh, the COVID-19 um, ways of prevention um, were uh, not very clear to a lot of people, which is why a lot of people didn't follow them. Um, but we can see the benefits of these spread prevention techniques and, um, and why they're so relevant, especially in, in the pandemic. Transference is a problem of transference may occur when training is conducted in a setting other than the work environment. In order for training to be effective, the new knowledge and skills must be transitioned into the workplace. So this is very important because we're using these spread prevention techniques in our personal life, but we also have to use them at work. Um, and we have to have a balance of using them in both settings. So that's why transference is so important. 
repetition and active participation. Um, most people don't immediately retain complex information and put new skills to use. Um, Berman's rule of three states that people hear things only that after they have been said three times. And the rule of seven states that people must practice something seven times to master it. Managers and trainers often need to explain several times why something needs to be done because people are overwhelmed with tasks and information and truly mastering new skills takes several, several tries. That's, this is a very important part of the COVID-19 spread prevention training because um, the repetition is what will um, make, make these uh, spread prevention techniques you know, set, set into routine. So repeating these same things over and over again will become practice, everyday practice, and uh, just having that active participation. That's why it's so important. And um, overlearning is the assimilation of material so that it becomes almost second nature so that new skills are completely integrated into an, uh, a person's repertoire. So overlearning is good for this uh, spread prevention training as well because you, you can't be too cautious when it comes to uh, you know, the COVID-19 virus, it's, it's deadly. Um, you know, you, you can't wash your hands too much. You can't wear your mask too often. You know, you can't, you know, overuse hand sanitizer. It's it's going to help you out. You're going to benefit from these things. And consistently practicing this will, will help gain that repetition and make it routine. Um, so feedback, reflection, and positive reinforcement is important because training and learning are enhanced by feedback. Um, feedback that's immediate, direct, and also constructive. Um, immediate and direct feedback helps guide um, activities and learning skills toward correct goals. And it supports people in, in uh, efficiently mastering these new skills. And um, positive reinforcement is providing encouragement through acknowledgement, praise, and acceptance for accomplishments. So, Giving feedback to team members when we see them practicing these safe um, spread prevention techniques is very important. And that's going to help us achieve the goal of stopping the spread of COVID-19. Just want to say thank you for viewing my training video.